Hello world! Hi! Today we are craft chatting here at Craft Habit about scraps and how to use scraps, what to do with scraps because for all of us who love to create and make, um, we end up creating and making things that have to be thrown away. Um, and we would like to not do that so much. Um, so we're talking about little projects you can do that are super fun that make use of your scraps that at least like give them one more life before they might end up somewhere in the trash. But hopefully not. Hopefully everything you make is cherished forever. But we know it's not. Let's just be real. So we'll do the best we can to uh, feed our creative natures and also <laughs> help the planet last a little bit longer. <laughs> this is getting kind of dark. So let's brighten it up because we have cupcakes <laughs> what we're making with our scraps today is cupcake toppers um, just little cutie guys that you can put on top to add a little bit of extra cheer to your baked goods obviously you can top cupcakes you could put them in big cookies you could stick that down on a head of lettuce whatever whatever you think needs a little bit of um, flair you can do that so these cupcake toppers are built on top of sandwich sticks this is sort of just a hyped up toothpick, um, but it's nice and sturdy, and you can get like hundreds of them for a few dollars. Um, and we have used uh, felt scraps a couple of different ways. This one, um, we used some of our felt scraps from a previous project to create petals, and we used a little bit of leftover crepe paper to make this cute um, little stamen in the middle. Um, so this one is just cut up your felt pieces, and for felt, I'm gonna use my fabric scissors. And you can draw this or you can just freehand it. Sometimes you can even just pick up the scraps and say, this one is already petal shaped, so I'm gonna use it this way. So you would just cut whatever you want on there. Use a little hot glue in there and glue on some petals and just keep going and going. Add a middle. You can really kind of improvise, see what you've got. If you have a scrap that's already fringy or a scrap that's already circular, you can decide use it the way it is, which is great. Um, so that's this one. Uh, this, this cute little felt flower, sometimes you think of it as a chrysanthemum, it's some other shapes too. This one's super easy to make, especially if you have a long strip of felt. So this one, you would start, let's say, okay, I've got a long piece here that's left over from so this cut out, so I'm going to square this off a little bit. But again, you don't need to make it perfectly square. You don't need to get in there and create extra, extra mess. But you get a long strip. You fold it in half, you would glue that down. My hot glue is not actually live, it's a prop, so I'm not gonna glue it, but you would glue that down, have a long strip, and then come in with your scissors and cut fringes. You're not cutting all the way through, you're just cutting fringes all the way down. I'm gonna do a few more just to give you a demo here, so I'm being careful. The nice thing is when you have this glued, your hot glue line will be the place where you stop cutting, and it'll give you, you'll be able to feel it in there. I'm just eyeing it right now. So let's say that I had done that whole thing. So it's glued, it's fringed, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna glue it as you roll it up. So you'd put a long line of glue along here, or a little bit at a time, because hot glue dries fast and you roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And that makes your shape. You can see that's a little tiny baby version of this. And this one's fun to play with because the longer, shorter your strip is will make a difference in the shape. Um, how much, how wide your fringe are makes a difference. So you can actually make a lot of different kind of shapes with this one basic thing. Uh, and the last one I'm gonna show you is our crepe paper flower cake topper. And this one is made I'm not going to show you a full demo because it takes a little while, but this one is made by cutting uh, a spiral out. So you'd cut a circle and then cut that circle into a spiral and then you roll it up and glue it similar to how we did this. You're basically just rolling it around itself and gluing or rolling it around your sandwich stick and gluing. And then again, we've just used a little tiny scrap of this yellow paper, a little fringe, just glued it down on top. That is the magic of hot glue. You can just sort of like make things stick together wherever there's a surface for it. Um, so that is one way to use scraps. We'd love to hear about how you use scraps. If you have a wonderful thing you do with scraps, let us know in the comments or shoot us an email. Maybe we can learn your way of preserving the after bits of your crafting masterpieces. Um, yeah, so this has been Craft Chat again with me, Sarah, here at Craft Habit. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon with some more craft talk.